let, let me see if I can't uh, come at this from another direction, yeah. which is well, to why say... Why don't you just say what you think was which happening? Which is to say the following. Go on. Uh, those of us who come from the left right. uh, had much more in mind than uh, giving women a greater choice or opening doors to women. Right. We really wanted to change the world, and we thought that this light that you so eloquently describe would really lead us not just into a better world for women but a better world altogether where all human beings would be able to achieve their potential and that meant a consciousness of class and of the you know the impositions let me put it that way imposed by poverty so that mm -hmm. for poor women women who weren't middle class women women of color newly immigrated women right. there was a, a kind of alienation from the feminist movement as you've described it right and so one of the things i wonder about one of the things that confused me all of my uh, feminist life. days or yeah. life yeah. has been that, uh, you know, we have been enormously successful, I think you would say, at breaking the barriers or opening the doors or creating possibilities for women with and without children to do the kinds of work they want to do but we've been far less successful at making the world a better place to be in. And sometimes when I think back on feminism, I think, you know, have we really failed? Or, you know, were our original aspirations just moved in a direction that if we looked at them now from the perspective of the 70s, we might say, no, no, that's not where I really intended to go. You said what you had to say? I disagree <laughs> completely with everything you said. Good. <laughs> and and uh, I disagreed actually at the same time. I can't remember what, which collection of stuff I was reviewing, but among them was this book by Linda Gordon and four other historians who make exactly the same argument, that hold the second wave of American feminism to account for not having uh, joined labor, race, et cetera, all the other things that you have just said. All I can say to that is, from the time I can remember, um, and this is long before feminism, I grew up in the left, and from the time I can remember, the woman question was divisive. When I became a feminist and went back to Elizabeth Stanton and that history, and it's a history you know as well as I do, you know that radical feminism begins with the revolt against the 14th Amendment, against, against the amendment that said, Black exactly men can right. get the vote, but women never. And at that moment, Elizabeth Stanton and, and Susan Anthony said, this is, where we, this is where we take our stand. If we join the abolitionists in saying yes to this, we are betraying women's rights completely and we'll get nothing. We stand alone, we have always stood alone, and we always will stand alone. From the time of the Owenites on, the indigenous socialists in, in England in the 1820s, Frances Wright, who was one of the, right? Fanny Wright becomes an Owenist, because, an Owenite, because Owen says, yes, yes, and the women too. And then she discovers, yes, it's the women too. And when it was convenient, the, the women too got scrapped. So from that time on, every radical, the meaning of radical feminism is the realization that you throw everything you have into rights for women, or you don't, or you lose. From, I mean. I've listened to this throughout my life, uh, long before feminism and certainly during it. I believe it with all my heart. I mean, I believe in radical feminism in that sense. And for me, it is changing the world. I, I can't agree that we didn't change the world. There are many ways to change the world. One of them is certainly for me, the argument about women, for me, it's always women's rights. It's social and political and cultural equality. I want to see that more than anything in the world between men and women. I want to see it between blacks and whites, Jews and Gentiles, every class. I want to see John Rawls' society come into existence. I want to see all these things, but I do not believe that you can fight all those things in one big 
bowl. And I, for me, it was never a matter of getting the jobs or, I mean, I, often what has happened to American feminism is appalling to me in that it comes down to books like Lean In or, you know, go to work for a corporation, make a mill. That's never what it was about. That's something that I, I bear. I mean, that's a, an unintended or an un, unreal, un, unexpected development. At the same time, you see, now, I don't know whether it's changing the world, but you see women in business and government and in everything under the sun, that, and in law and medicine. And, and it's, if that's not a change in the world, I don't know what is. 